So this is um so there was a Team Seventeen event that they ran that was for I like having a blue outline. It's cuter. It was for Gord, which is a game where it's like um you have a settlement and you have uh little villagers and then you assign the villagers jobs and you build buildings and things like that. It is G O R D. And we got to play the demo while we were there, which was really cool. But it was basically advertised as like um like they didn't give us a whole lot of information about the event. It was like find yourself in the middle of a love triangle. Uh f- discover the evil that is lurking. Um maybe get pickpocketed or something like that. So we I was curious as to what it was. And so I signed me and Pedgwin up for it because I just made him do it with me because I was kind of nervous about it. And it was like a new um it was like a new experience that I felt kind of nervous for. So I thought it would be fun to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and do something where it was like kind of like RPing in real life, I guess like LARPing a little bit. Um, so I signed us up and we went. And so we got a train out to Portsmouth, which is in the south, and it was really nice out there. Um, there was a lot of water and there was a lot of like swampiness and stuff. Uh, and then we went out to Butzer Ancient Farm where there was, there's like these, um, basically they have like these really old buildings that they build using the old techniques, which you might see them in some of this. Let's see. So they have an event where they do like Celtic stuff. So here's their, like, I think this is the Celtic one, Celtic Fire Festival. So this is kind of like what the place looked like, but this is like a different, um, holiday they did but basically during monday through friday they do like uh teaching school children and stuff and then on the weekends i think they do like roman legion like reenactment stuff and it's really cool i really recommend it it was really awesome um so i think they do this celtic thing where they build this big uh flammable object here's what everything looks like from above so um Basically, okay, you can see my mouse. So we started off over here where we got dropped off. Um, did you take Lollip to this or was this another thing? Uh, Lollip also went. I didn't know until I showed up and I was like, oh, you're here too. Um, but this was really cool. Wickerman, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, they build these buildings um, using like old techniques. So, um, these are like thatch roofs and the walls are made out of like, um, they have infrastructure, but then they're also, uh, cow dung and like hay and fur and all kinds of stuff mixed together. Um, and then they're dried and then they're painted around the outside, which is like super cool. And so they rebuild all of these things in the ancient wattle and daub. That sounds like something, probably. Wattle? I think that's right. Um, so they've built a bunch of these from different eras. They have their little staff building here. Over this way is another building where we had all of our stuff. And here is, um, I think this is the Roman villa that they've been working on. And then right here, they are adding a garden, which was still in construction when we went as well. Um, and in here is like uh, basically a reconstruction of what a rich Roman person's house would have looked like. In this area was the bedroom and then the slaves' quarters upstairs. Um, and then they had a dining room area that had actual um, tiles from that were brought in from a Roman site. And then they recreated a mosaic. It's so cool. We have loads of these things in Ireland, but it's like here a mass grave from what the english did yeah they'd be they'd be they're a little evil i think just a little bit so nice we can see the cursor you can see it if i don't speak um so this was really cool 
And so basically, there's a bunch of people that work here and they dress up during the week too. And then on the weekend, they dress up as Romans, essentially. Um, and so for the event, they were all dressed up and there was... Um, there was like a miner, there was a there's a goldsmith and his wife. There was uh some merchants who you could like trade information to and then they gave me jewels and I had I probably had the most jewels out of anyone, but I think it was just kind of like it was just kind of loosely done. Um and then there was the mead tent. So we had like the big gathering in this tent. Um this one didn't have anything in it. Um, and then down here was where the mead house was. And they... Mead. M-E-A-D. Not meat tent. The mead tent. Um, humble jewel brag. I have many riches. Um, so they had a mead place. I drank apple juice. Um, and then we got like this homebrewed mead, basically. Uh, and so I picked a elderflower flavored one, Pedgwin picked a Hawthorne, Hawthorne one, and then there was a few other ones. Kind of sad, but mead is a great alternative to meat. <laughs> I've never tried mead before, no, and so I drank it and I was like, hmm, it is alcohol. I tried a sip of it, but I mostly had apple juice while I was there, which then I was like, oh my god, pedgwin has been telling me that apple juice is a laxative, am I going to poop myself? I did not poop myself, though. There was, it was pretty nice for flavor wise. Honey mead tastes a bit like piss. I don't know what piss tastes like. Um, but basically we got there, there were some other creators there. Uh, we took a bus from, they got us all our own hotel rooms. Um, so we all stayed at a hotel and then we got bussed out to here, um, to the event. And then they had a, um, Wait, it is? What do you mean, wait, it is? A good meat is great, a bad meat is bad. I, oh yeah, I think, well, pedgwin has been saying apple juice is laxative because he keeps drinking a lot of it and then having to shit himself, I guess. And I don't know if that's true. Torb says it's true, and Torb knows things. He knows things. Um, So they also hired a, like musician woman and then her band and so they were acting too and basically it was like modeled after the game so we went around collecting information drinking alcohol and apple juice um and uh we also were able to have plus ones too so me and pedgwin invited two people and they came with two I don't know if they've talked about it, so I don't want to... I don't know. I'm privacy sake. I'm like, I'll keep their information private, but if they wanted to say, they can. So we brought two friends with us, essentially, um, who also seemed to have a good time, um, which was really cool that everything was paid for as well. He drinks the apple juice and he does a shit. Um, so we went around collecting information... Hello, Rose Doodle. Hello. We went around, we collected information. I got jewels. I never ended up having to use the jewels for anything, so I think they're in one of my drawers or something somewhere. I kept them. I just kept trying to buy the gold miner's wife um, because she was very beautiful uh, and nice, and I liked her. Um, and then it... The sun started going down and I was like, we were over here going to the bathroom and walking back this way. And then suddenly they were like, the monsters are coming. Meanwhile, everyone else is hanging out over here. And here's where they had like six to eight PCs set up and you could play the game in here. So we did that too. But basically we went to the bathroom and then people started running from this direction saying the monsters were coming. Meanwhile, everyone else who's at the event is over here, like eating. So we were running and they were videoing us running and they're like, run faster. And so we were running faster and we had to go take refuge in this like main building. And then I guess they had everyone else show up. But we were like, I was like, what the fuck? Why am I having to run and everyone else is chilling? 
Um, so then we had to like do this little ritual and we had to sacrifice someone. So one of the guys went out. There was like a gay bromance almost kind of thing going on too. Um, with the archer and the spear master, someone else, uh, one of the streamers who was there, they got designated as the new spear master. It was pretty cool. Um, and then the, um, person that they had that was the musician, was um the witch from the game and they were kind of like running everything and it was really cool and it was really super super fun this place is awesome i really recommend it if you want to go have like a weekend with someone they do like a bunch of stuff this is wild i thought you just went to a cool place and played some video games no they had like a whole like rp some other people that were some of the content creators um cosplayed when they went i just was in my normal clothes um it was a really awesome place and then at the end of the night we were just kind of chilling out they're like all right you have like an hour till we're gonna leave if you want to keep listening to the musician lady who was like polish music you could do that or you could like walk around and i was talking to the gold miner guy who works there throughout the week and he was super fucking cool um and i was telling him like how much I appreciated being there and like, cause it's like an ancient village kind of thing. And from studying art history, I was like, I really like it. What game is it based on? It's Gord, G-O-R-D. Um, and so he was like, oh, would you like a private tour of the Roman villa? And I was like, um, yes, I would like that. And so um, that place hadn't been opened up for the rest of everyone. Uh, so we went over there with a flashlight, basically, of course, because there was the only lighting, I think, was like natural lighting um, and like the fireplaces that they had inside of the buildings. So they took us over to the um, he took us over to the Roman villa. And this was me, Pedguin, and then our two friends. And then we got a private tour of the Roman villa, which was so fucking cool. And he was telling us all about it. And he was such a nice man. And he's like, I love on the weekends when I get to dress up as a, a Roman legionnaire and we're in the villa and all of this stuff. So it was really cool. Um, they had a bunch of animals there. I don't know if they're in this video. Um, let me see, because there's another video too. I'll see if that has some of the animals in it. Um, oh, this has some stuff. Okay, cool. So, is this doing it? So you can see the buildings here. And they had the fires going, like, at all times, kind of inside of the things. How many jokes did Bedwin make? He was doing great. We did do some real VIP shit. It was fun. Um, so we would go into these buildings, and they would have the campfire going. And it would be really smoky in there, and almost, like, kind of, like, difficult to breathe. Um, so we ended up, like, asking about it, kind of, and... Both times uh, that we talked to one person, they told us, and then when we were talking to the Roman villa guy, he told us too. But basically, the thatched roofs, they kind of had to figure out how to, um, like, this building is the non-authentic building. And I think this is a little bit older because this was, I think, extended a bit, and I don't think I see the Roman villa back here. And these buildings are still being built. So, um... The buildings, they have fires going inside of them at all times. And we were like, why isn't there a chimney? So basically, the reason that there isn't a chimney is because they had to do trial and error rebuilding these things. Because, of course, they didn't really survive throughout time because they're organic materials. They could see the foundations, but they didn't know how the roofs were made. Um, and so... We were like, why isn't there a chimney in here? And basically why there isn't is because the smoke naturally will um, filter through the straw. But if they put a chimney in, then there's oxyne oxygenated, oxygenated, is that it? oxygenated air at the top. So any like cinders and like little things off of the fire can 
catch up here and then the roof is gone. So basically they said when they were building them with chimneys that the oxygenated air at the top was allowing for sparks to catch and then basically the roof would catch on fire and disappear. So they learned that over time they don't put a chimney in and even though it gets smoky inside, what that means is that the smoke filters through the thatch. It doesn't catch on fire because there's no oxygen at the top to catch on fire. My Valheim house hasn't been period accurate. Maybe not, I guess. Maybe not. But the other thing that they said was because there's no chimney and the smoke is filtering through, that there are no bugs and there's no mold, I guess, inside of um, the roof. It's really neat how it works. It's super black inside because of all the soot, soot and it smells so intense. Yeah, in some of the rooms we're like, oh my god, I'm literally fucking dying. I'm dying! Um, but yeah, so this building here, they don't light fires in this one, and there's a lot of spiders in the roof, whereas in the ones that do have fires in them, there are no spiders in the roof, because the bugs do not like the smoke. Um, and then the other cool thing was that, so you can see here, and down here, and then there's some here, um, and then here was where their pigs were. So all of the, um animals that they have are like animals that would have been around during these periods of time. So these breeds of goat that they have are super, super rare. This breed of pig that they had was super, super rare. And then the breed of goat that are sheep that they had was super rare too. And they were the sheeps that have the two horns on the top and the two horns coming around from underneath. So they were like ancient sheep. Yeah, I think I posted a pig of uh, a pig, a picture of the pig in the trough, and that was from here. The other pigs that I took a picture of were from Chu Valley um, Farm, which is, of course, my favorite little farm that I go to uh, and pet animals. A picture. So it was really cool. Um, I think this person's going to be talking. So here's all the little buildings. Here's where they were building the Roman villa. This building was still being built during this video, but we were in it. Um, so it was finished being built by the time that we went. And then this is a video. You can go watch it if, you, if you'd like to. Um, so they have the goats there. The pigs, unfortunately, were... Um, they, before they're a year old, they do butcher them, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. They said during the time that they're there, they love them a whole bunch and they give them a really happy life, but they do get used for meat. Um, is she a Viking and they gave her a zipper jacket? It's possible. But yeah, this is really cool. Um, the guys and the ladies and people that work there really like working there and they have a good time um they have festivals and stuff like that so there's a lot of different stuff to do so i really recommend it i would like to go on a weekend and uh participate in some of their stuff that they do it was super fun Archaeologists used to find little divots in the ground in villages and didn't know what they used for it. And then when they went to the places and saw the divot, it was the chickens making them. How interesting. They were telling us, too, that there was like a trench around the buildings. And they were trying to figure out why the trenches were built. And then once they were successfully recreating the houses, they found that it was um, the runoff from the roof was creating the trenches. Did you go there, Ale? Yeah, we did go see the Roman bit with the mosaic, and those tiles were actually like old Roman tiles. I was pogging my brains out. Don't tell anyone, uh, but the guy did let us touch them. <laughs> he was like, he's like, okay, normally no one's allowed to touch them, but you can touch them if you want. And I was like, I'm gonna shit my pant. I'm so excited. And so I, I touched the old Roman tiles. It was really cool. I went there a few years ago. It was such a cool place. He was like, well, so the, the Roman villa that they have, they um, they were like, it has uh, the heated floors. So he was like, touch the floor and you can see that it's it's warm. Um, and so he did and it was and it was really fucking cool. So he said that when that 
you know, throughout the year that they have people that stay there and like stay in the houses. And some of the people were like, you know, I would rather stay in one of these houses than some uh, like normal houses during the winter because they're so well insulated. The channels through the floor. Yeah. Experimental archaeology. It was so cool. It was so cool. Um, and so the floor was warm. And he said when he stayed in that Roman villa, like the house just, it just stays warm enough for you to be in there, which is so fucking awesome. It's cool archaeology. It's nice. It's cool. Underfloor heating was common, and they used concrete extensively. The Pantheon was a big mad dome roof made of concrete. Well, they had that self-healing concrete as well, which I don't know what the progress is on that of recreating it. But I have to look it up. But basically, there's like this self-healing concrete that had, what, limestone in it or something? Where if it cracked over time, it was able to like heal it and repair itself. And so... They've almost got it down. I think that's what I heard as well, that they're figuring figuring out the limestone mixture to see if they can get it recreated, which is really, really cool. It was so cool. I big recommend it. If you live in England or close by and you want to go see it, it was really cool. I read what it did, but I forgot what exactly. Torb almost knows. Torb almost knows. They stopped using that concrete when the Empire started getting real wacky and run by literally insane people ingesting mercury. Yeah, lost to time, right? Lost to time. I may go there one day or weekend. I think they also let you stay there if you want to, maybe? Because that was an option there. Like, if you don't want to stay in the hotel room, you can also camp there if you bring your own sleeping bag. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Bobby is, Bobby is not ready for that yet. I would have, I would have been afraid of ghosts or something. I remember it's something like S excess lime, not limestone, caustic lime in the mix. And then when it cracked, it got exposed to carbon dioxide and water and make new limestone inside the cracks. Isn't that so freaking cool? And just lost. Technology lost. 